the topic name is a microcontroller already i gave you introduction of the microcontroller microcontroller is nothing but it's a brain so human brain human brain how human brain is working so like about the microcontroller it is a working so human brain so take the example for that human brain so based on the human brain okay this is a very important about that one so based on the brain instructions so your action is take place so either you can walking or taking the object so whatever it may be it is a your programming so if this is a, about that one action it will going to based on the instruction this is a control this is a controller human brain is a controller so controller so control it is a controlling controlling the your entire body it will going to control so perform actions everything it is decided so similarly you have look it about that one so controller microcontroller uh, for example so televisions so television is there okay you will going to operate the televisions okay from the far away so you will going to sit it on that one uh, uh, okay cot okay with the, with the remote control so remote control is there so you will going to on the television and off the television with the help of the remote control so how it is a possible so here is a far away so distance okay you will going to control so ir controller so, sorry ir ir sensor ir sensor through that one here it is include of the sensor sense so here is a transmit the uh, transmit the signal here is a receive the signal after receive the signal this signal is a pass to the this signal okay after receive this signal this signal is passed to the controller passed to the controller controller it will going to give the commands to the te television turn on turn off so like it is a controller give the commands so what is needed this is called a sensor this is called a sensor this is a sensor the sensor it will going to receive their data it will going to receive so this is a transmitter it is a transmitter this is called a communications this is called a communication communication means it taking the role over here only so this is a taking the role so transmit the signal so you will going to transmit the signal so here is a receive the signal okay uh, then uh, already we were discuss about that one uh, air conditions so air conditions okay you will going to program about that one here is a controller so i have the controller here okay the controller okay input what is the my input of the controller sensor so temperature sensor i will going to keep it here so lm31 lm317 uh, uh, okay or the 37 okay so this is a controller is available ic is available this ic it will going to monitor the temperature room temperature it will going to monitor the room temperature so based on the temperature level okay it will going to give the command to the controllers so temperature is 25 degree or temperature is 20 degree so this sensor is a measure the temperature from temperature room temperature and giving the command to the uh, giving the information giving the information to the controller okay the controller has the programming you will going to write the programming on that one so here you will going to so totally you will going to write the programs so how what to do how to execute it, everything if it is a room temperature is go below 20 turn off the turn off the ac so the output of the controller give to the give to the relay so output of the controller give to the relay the relay it will going to turn on and turn off okay it will going to trip the circuit it will going to trip the circuit so activator it is called activator so activator so output is the activator that activator it will going to for example for that relay the relay is on and off on the signal and off the signals so on the ac or off the ac it will going to decide it. if it is below 25 20 degree celsius off the ac if it is across the above 25 degree okay above 25 everything it is written right in the programs above 25 means on the ac so this is about the microcontroller purpose of the microcontroller that's all so let's we will going to see look it on that one application of the uh, microcontrollers then you will going to know so home monitoring system so you enter home you will going to do the monitoring systems automatic open the door automatic close the door yes automatic open the door automatic close the door how 
so sense that one object if it is object is present the door is automatically open how so sense the object of okay, a sensor giving the command to the controller then output is activator the activator means relay relay is connected to that motor the motor is on and off that's all so home monitoring systems automatic open the door automatic close the door robo so the robo is working behind about the microcontroller so robot uh, robotic systems okay yeah so appliances such as the microwave oven refrigerator televisions and then uh, vcr etc place you can go to home appliances you can use automobile engine you can use on that one so the same type of that one whatever the application wherever you want you can use for automobile places engine control then uh, fuel level monitoring systems another one is your uh, see uh, overhead tank overhead tank uh, water filling overflow you will going to check on level you can check it then environment control greenhouse temperature etc these all are the places applicable then why do i want to move to the arduino controller the arduino when you will going to look at the arduino this is called a ready made set ready made set ready made set means so it is a ready madely available it is inbuilt this is called a mic controller this is called a microcontroller the ic number is admega 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 series it will going to come it's a ready made so if you want to uh, yes here is a only program is stored in that ic how to store the program so your computer so you can open this uh, software the software name is called arduino software you will going to write the c program you will going to write the c program there is a one button upload upload buttons then what to do so use that one as similar to your mobile phone cable so take that one connected a usb port to here usb port to this usb port you can connect so cable is connected that's all cable is connected very simple so write that one if you want to edit the program and I click upload the program it will going to stored in the ic no if you want to erase okay again you will going to rewrite the program upload then again the program is rewrite very fast to rewrite see that one this is a that much of that one very quick and fast response to rewrite again you will going to change some uh, some data some lines again you will going to upload click upload again it will going to run fresh program it will going to be coming on that one controller this is a one of the futures about arduino in olden days it is this this is not available in olden days it is not available this type of the futures but now you have this type of the futures about the arduino so where you will going to get the software see look at here that one triple double u dot arduino dot cc okay this is a open platform open platform means everyone you will going to download the software and start to write the program so this is about that one okay so this is oscillator this is a reset switch if it is any certain uh, mal function then click about that reset uh, switch to you can reset the entire uh, uh, operation entire operation you will going to reset not a program program is not reset program is only upload so reset that one your uh, operation your execution you will going to do what is this cable this cable is a power cable it is required some power supply you will going to give the power supply through that one adapter otherwise what you will do so here is this see that one ground terminal this is called a ground terminal you can give that one and here is a plus 5 terminal is available okay 5 voltage power supply here you can give the power supply either you can give the power supply here or either you can give the power supply here with respect to the ground you can give so one battery source you will going to 5 voltage you can give that once okay so this is a method so this is a method for programming okay this is the method for giving the power supply and this is a uh, either method 1 or method 2 the next one i said about the input is the sensor okay i have the sensor what is the sensor i have okay either the temperature sensor or otherwise object measure i mean object sensing sensor whatever that one you have the sensor leg okay that here look at analog inputs so analog input so here you will going to insert your sensor here you will going to get in, insert your sensor then output so here is output is a pwm pulse with modulation okay pulse with the modulation type of output that output signal you will going to give to that one okay uh, relay so relay you will going to give so relay you can give relay also it has that separate sources power supply power supply is separate sources then it is a command it is passing the command 
so this command based the relay is on or the relay is off so like it, it is executed like it is executed that's all this is about the behind about the arduino controllers arduino inside the microcontroller then uh, so just you can go back to the one example i said what is the example i said uh, television television it is a television and this that so you will want to keep some distance so you are sitting on the chair here with a remote control so you will going to operate so you will going to operate so this type of the comfortability is increased now reason uh, what is that one instead of using the instead of the using the uh, what is this one um, a remote you may be used as a cell phone now trend what is that one cell phone everyone having that a cell phone uh, the cell phone is used to you can turn on and turn off how use the bluetooth bluetooth device so use the bluetooth method bluetooth device method you will going to use turn on and turn off the this tv so la last uh, year uh, when i was uh, handle the subject in classroom offline classroom okay i need to turn on the uh, projector there is a projector in every classroom i need to turn on the projector i said to the students so oh, turn on the projector the student is one of the student try to go on go uh, try to go and turn on the uh, projector but another student is said so i will going to turn on with the help of my mobile phone i will going to turn on with the help of my mobile phone he said and immediately he is opened that app app so uh, how to you can uh, turn on turn off means use the app and the app used to you can on and off app used to you can on and off so it is executed particularly in our college projector okay in our college projector okay the projector uh, turn on and turn off you will going to execute it with the help of your mobile phone okay next level is uh, this is called the uh, bluetooth method it is executed similarly you will going to execute with the help of the internet for example why internet so your uh, your tv is there here your tv is uh, is there in your home in uh, it is located on the c ready it is located on the c ready it is located your tv is located here so you are coming to the so sorry you are available on the college so you are available on the college so college is located on the cobargan okay so tv is located on the c ready your college is located on the cobargan okay so yes the tv did it, it is it does not have uh, any uh, remote controller it does not have any remote controller okay then you need to turn on and turn off how to turn on and turn off yes that is a method you will going to turn on and turn off from cobargan itself you will going to turn on the tv or turn off the tv from cobargan itself or tv you can take the example or motor you can take the example like agriculture motor so nowadays uh, agriculture motor is uh, turn on and turn off with the help of this type of the example only how how to turn on and turn off with the help of your mobile phone only with the help of your mobile phone now everyone having the internet facilities now everyone having the internet facilities even you are watching the this online class through the internet facility only how you are watching through the app only through the app what is the app google meet app so you are download the google meet app you are going to open the google meet app and attended attending the classes similarly similarly the same internet is there so internet is the uh, here is internet okay here is mobile phone so through the internet you will going to operate this is called iot now you are iot applications see you are attending class through iot only you are attending class through iot system only you have app is there yes you have the app so that is called the google meet app so you are open the google meet app now you are attending from your home without coming to the class without coming to the college how oh, that is called the iot iot through the inter okay, internet of things internet of things with the help of the internet you will going to open and you will going to start to study okay open the app and you will going to perform similarly okay similarly similar the same method okay in that one you will have okay the what is this one mobile phone so mobile phone you have that one app 
that app is some these are the app nowadays it's available freely on the play store you can download okay and then you use that one app and the programming then you will go to pass the signal on and off pass the signal on and off that's all so this is called the internet of things so everything everything behind is a behind is a, this microcontroller is that everything is behind is microcontroller okay um, so your mobile phone take the example for that your mobile phone the mobile phone has that one behind is the microcontroller is that microcontroller is there in the behind and so many sensors are there so how many steps you are walking daily so everything it has the sensor touch sensor another one is uh, yes uh, you will going to on and i mean open your mobile phone with a uh, with your uh, fingerprint so many type of the sensor is there so the mobile phone has that one okay so this is about the uh, microcontroller microcontroller means simple uh, simple example your mobile phone that's all okay uh, see this is called the arduino board i said this is a uh, name is called a uno okay sam i mean uh, uno it is a uh, one of the uh, uh basic board yes one of the basic uh, basic arduino board the cost is coming around 500 rupees the cost is coming around 500 rupees is it possible shall i use for high voltage type of application no high voltage type of application it is not uh, not uh, 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 use because it is a basic board so you for example mobile phone you can take the example mobile phone button type of the mobile phone came in early days button type of the mobile phone button type of mobile phone uh, is it possible will you want to operate the internet no the cost is 1000 rupees the button type of the mobile phone cost is 1000 rupees even nowadays also available you will go to the uh, cell phone shop you can ask about the button type of the cell phone even your parents are using that one that type of the possible to use on that button type of the cell phone only the cost is only 1000 rupees it is no internet connection nothing only incoming call outgoing call message is you can do the message service okay that is the only uh, then smartphone is came to the picture what is a smartphone internet of things internet of things that's all internet of things so similarly this is a basic board so basic board is not uh, that type of features then you will go to this a basic board you know you and go so this is arduino basic board okay and uh, you need to go for that one extension version like this type of the board so like the, when you are going this type of the board okay this is called uh, internet of things okay node that is name is called node I, uh, node okay node board okay so like when you will going to enhance a board you will have the cost so you will going to enhance the cost increase the cost rating so it is a possible that's all but hey, inside what is there additionally we have the devices okay internet of things additionally we have but it it doesn't have that is only differentiations okay what is this one you can look at so here is a input i mean analog input and then a digital output it is more number of outputs so more number of output you will going to take so more number of output you can take means you can go to this one you have increased the cost yes this is a possibilities so this is about the behind about arduino controllers you have look it about arduino yes these are the pins configuration is given this is called the controller and this is called the analog inputs analog input see here is written the power supply see 5 voltage power supply ground terminal ground terminals okay another one is a 3.3 .3 voltage 3.3 .3 voltage power supply if if you need it, you can apply or external power supply through the adapter you can apply for that one this is a usb port reset button so previously you have seen here here is a reset button is moved so it will going to uh, variety of the boards available ground pin digital output pins so this is about that one this is about the arduino board details about that arduino boards that's all so here this is how see this is a uh, pin number 3 sorry the ic this is a third one automatic power switch so ic is there automatic power switch ic so usb connector power connector automatic power switch board that ones then digital pins digital output analog pins analog input and okay power pin so power pins supply voltage and ground okay and then a reset switch is available etc 
so these are the about the arduino and the futures about that one okay add mega what is ic mic control ic is add mega 328 is there how many pins in that one 28 pin microcontrollers so uh, it is a uh, how many digital input output pin 14 digital uh, input and output pin what about the crystal oscillator what is the frequency of crystal crystal oscillator 16 megahertz so this is about the crystal oscillator how many analog input pin six analog input pin okay so and what about the power input so you will going to give the 7 volt to 12 volt adapter you will going to give that one power supply so like about this all the features of that uh, this arduino controller arduino controller ready made controllers okay then we go with that one okay so application you are know this is a very variety type of application you will going to use okay and then you can just look at about the advantages of this uh, microcontroller so easy to use so microcontroller is you can easy to use and programmable is easy and reusable so rewrite the program ability to reprogram using actually you know uh, this is a uh, one thing i want to tell that is called uh, what is the difference between this is a trend uh, it is the trend is uh, this arduino is came to the like about the you can take about uh, what i am saying uh, smartphone smartphone when it is came came to the popular the smartphone in phone is came popular due to the smartphone came popular so many app another one is a came to the popular one particular time period only this is this happens you know previously uh, now people they are using about the google transfer uh, money transfer method paytm money transfer different different type of the money transfer method Go, okay uh, this are the different type of money transfer method you are using online transfer <coughs> in early days of very very old days if you want to transfer the money you can go to the bank then later internet ba internet banking is came to the popular internet banking also still i am using internet banking if i want to use the internet banking i need to open that one systems and then i i need to wait for that one minimum spending 10 minutes time it is not easiest one because this is secure compared to that one it is secure one okay similarly you can go to that offline method it is more secure but you need to spend half day you need to spend more half day it is more secure one side is a uh, technology is increase the same level problem is increase secureless is increase that is a one of the major issues nowadays okay they will going to take the money from your packet with or without your knowledge with your knowledge without your knowledge they are taking so coming to that one point okay this is a trendy scheme trend yes so paytm is came to the trend in 2000 uh, around this book, uh, 18 so 18 range uh, 16 to 18 yes this range paytm a uh, lot of the uh, technologies came the uh, came to that one popular similarly this arduino also in our india came to the popular uh, school student college student they are start to use it is came on the past 10 years only past 10 years only it is came on that one uh, it is a popular because it is a release recently even uh, it is not uh, released very uh, long period before i don't have the date uh... yeah so 2005 it was released but we are start to habituated to use on that after 2010 only okay still your uh, people is no, uh, not that much of interested okay some members those who are interested they are really it is a one open platform uh, really it is a very good about that one you can take this one board and start to you can use it on that one Be basic board you can take it and start to write why this this board is a uh, attractive do you know you can rewrite the program n number of times that's all you can rewrite the program n number of times how it's a uh, uh, you open your pc and then download the software arduino software write the program and uh, upload the program that's all but uh, you can look it on the earlier version of the pic controller you can look it about earlier version of the pic controller ic see that one pic controller this pic controller ic okay you are inserted into the board 
it is not rewrite easily it is not e rewrite easily that's all so that's why this arduino is more popular it's a compact convenient so coming to that one reusable so reusable so ability to re ability to reprogram using the flash olden days we are going to use the flash flash to the uh, erase the program e p a p rom method okay e p rom method so these are the method used so you will going to flash okay then i will let's we go for the e p rom and then uh, lightly i will try to show you yes you can look it what is that one memory controllers memory controller you will going to rom and ram you will going to very clearly you have studied about every paper rom okay uh, rom and uh, ram okay random access memory read only memory so there is a two memory memory major memory rom and ram okay ram random access memory what is a rom okay rom okay uh, read only memory yes the rom holds the program instructions so the rom it will going to holds the program instruction and the constant data it will going to store okay what about a random access memory it will have hold the in intermediate result and other temporary data for example your mobile phone also it has the some memory is there okay so you are going to open for the smart manager of applications in that one smart manager i am telling about your mobile phone has the smart manager uh, okay uh, application you can open there is a ram is written ram random access memory that is called a temporary data it will want to store so open the ram 59 percentage is showing in my app so 59 percentage is showing in my app so that one is a ram okay it will hold the intermediate result and other temporary data during the execution of the program every time when you will going to execute it, something on your program okay this temporary data it will going to store on that ram random access memory see look it uh, you have open your mobile phone smart manager there is available on the ram 59 percentage is used in my mobile 59 percentage means 564 mb okay it is a free remaining uh, around 821 mb is used around 821 mb is used for ram what is the user background apps there is a 3 33 background app is running so 33 background app is running okay to improve your device performance end the app below so i will going to here each app the end button so each app we look at whatsapp ram 77.46 mb okay cpu 0 percentage okay similarly it is showing for that one other data okay google play store play service ram is 47 percentage okay irctc app that is ram is 15 percentage chrome uh, 6.6 percentage see so conduct conduct is also ram ram size is a 1.95 so these all are these all are the what is this one so these all are the temporary data stored places okay so these totally 8 12 mb it will going to occupy totally total background that's why the mobile phone is why getting the heat do you know this is a background is app is running on that one so totally behind i even i don't have using anything uh, now currently i am not using anything even irct is app is i am not used past uh, past day i don't use it but without my knowledge it is working whether whether it is uh, working another one yes planner it is working clock is working memo is working uh, another one so many is working okay finally i will going to press the end all so cleaning ram so 312 mb has been cleaned background app is zero so now it is mine is a background app is zero see just i will go back now it is showing the 47 percentage again you will going to click on the 47 percentage yeah still now it is showing again background app is seven so what are the seven so google play service is running irct is running and uh, samsung okay service is running so again i will going to press the end all and uh, 60 mb has been cleaned background app is zero 
then go back now 48 percentage it will go to source the 48 percentage again click inside the 48 percentage nine app is running see these are the basic app it will go to start to execute it it will go to start to execute it similarly you will go to settings also while installed it will go to ask you some settings okay sala okay it is needed to run on the, your background will you give the permission or not will you give the permission to open the contact or not will you give the permission to open the images or not will you permission to uh, will you give the permission to open your messages or not etc they will going to ask you so due to these all of these things behind so a temporary data during the execution of the program if you going to open any one of the app for example ms word i will going to open immediately what will happen it will going to come and store on the ram place immediately it will going to come and store on the ram place okay uh, your mobile phone also next point uh, your mobile phone cost is decided by the your ram only your mobile phone cost is decided by the your ram what is your ram size uh, 2g to uh, i mean uh, can you tell me what is a 2gb you are using or 2mb you are using 4gb sir 4gb so 2gb is raised into the 4gb in old days is mb only used the you have no do you know in the cpu there is a ram we are using uh, 512 mb 512 mb ram size is we are used then trend is changed okay that is technology then 1gb came a mobile phone came on that 2gb i was purchased uh, around 5 years back it is a 2gb ram now it say everyone you are using that 4gb ram next is 6gb ram the ram size is increased uh, yes you have look at this is uh, your uh, computer cpu board okay board this is a ram so ram slot the ram slot this is a processor uh, slot so these are this is a totally entire it's a board and you call peripherals these are the peripheral connections okay dvd peripherals you will going to connect it another one is a, what is that one peripheral of the usb memory etc they are showing on the tool see that one this is a two slot they are giving okay uh, 4 gb ram so this is a very uh, interesting about uh, you have look at uh, i have the 6 gb ram so when why do i want to go 6 gb ram fast very fast uh, is it uh, possible sir i inserted a 6 gb ram blindly to this board no blindly you should not inserted 6 gb ram 6 gb ram to this board why why means this board has the speed this board has the speed this processor has the speed so are you should match about that one this board speed and the processor speed and you should be match with your ram memory speed ram speed so three things should be concentrated three things should be equal at what are the three things the board has the speed processor the speed and memory has the speed three things should be equal okay uh, let's i will show you one more example uh, this is my desktop is the settings data i uh, see here ram size 4 gb ram 4 gb ram usable 3 point okay 4 gb ram you could not use the full full 4 gb then what is the percentage level i will going to use 3.89 gb only you can use okay what is my processor speed you have look at your processor speed okay in gigahertz 3.60 gigahertz that's it is matched yes nearly matched 3.8 3.6 nothing so nearly matched so it is matched suppose uh, if it is a 5 gb not available if it will going to uh, 4 plus 1 i will going to do somewhat uh, it will going to speed increase if it is a overly i will going to insert it, uh, it is a burden to that one i mean uh, the communications communication is problem so you should be match so that's all about the ram ram is about that's all so coming to that one your advantage yes so in olden days so you will going to flash method so this is a ram details and rom details rom okay random okay read only memory holds the program instruction and the constant data it's a one time programmable 
okay p rom means what is the p rom e e p rom e e p rom is there what is the difference it is a uh, see that one you can you can look at p rom means a one time programmable only one time programmable it is not a rewritable it's not a rewritable you, you have look it on the cd in olden days the cd is a game it is not a rewritable then later cd rewritable came then uh, then dvd came similarly coming to here look it uh, okay rom okay p rom p rom is one time programmable only one time programmable which is not a field of the programmable not a field of the programmable then came on the e p uh, e p rom e p rom means field programmable you can erase with help of the uv erase uv erase uv erase means uh, see this is ic okay take the ic put it on this box pick ic you will going to put it on the box and you will going to pass the uv erase and erase it uv erase you can erase it then next one is came eep rom it's a field programmable this is a, this is also field programmable electrically erasable okay and then flash flash used to you will going to do that once so like about the came on that ones okay uh, you have uh, look it on that ones this is a ram and rom that is our information is over uh, then one more point you have look it mm, in earlier days it's a microprocessor is the came still the microprocessor is using on the computer microprocessor processor motherboard motherboard then next next one is a processor i said what is a processor microprocessor is used Uh, where it is where you will going to implement so you look at here this is a motherboard mother then this is a father this is a processor in that place you will going to insert it see look uh, like uh, this is a this is a processor place this is a processor this is also small type of the ic uh, chip it will going to insert it over here so this is a microprocessor you will going to do you know uh, if you want to assemble the this cpu uh, if you want to assemble the cpu Uh, you want to buy one is motherboard this is a ready made okay this board the cost is coming around 3000 4000 based on the configuration then second one is uh, this uh, what is this one ram you will going to buy okay that is second part then third one is you will going to buy about uh, this is around the cost is coming so the processor also 4000 5000 okay even uh, high configuration when you go there 7000 rupees processor and board also 7000 rupees and the ram size is coming 5000 rupees so what is the return 77 plus 5 so 14 plus 5 around 19000 rupees you will going to spend over here if you are spend about 19000 then what is the remaining hard disk so hard disk so you will going to insert it hard disk simply with help of that one here is a where it is that one inserting place so so you will going to uh, communicate that one device that's all so i you will going to buy the hard disk and then uh, through the cable the hard disk also needed two things one is a power supply everyone see look at power supply is needed another one is a data cable cable similarly you have to take about the DS, uh, dvd dvd drive it is also power supply power supply is needed another one is a data cable so data cable cable so this cable is connected here there is a port is available you can connect the port that's all uh, this is a power supply so power supply you will going to here is in that one smbs is available what is this one smbs from smbs is giving that one so does any relation from the board and the smbs no smbs is giving the power supply to the to the hard disk power supply is giving the, okay smbs giving the power supply to the CV, uh, dvd drive power supply is giving to the what is this one motherboard so you will going to give the power supply to that one motherboard you can give the processor is not needed because the processor is a very less very low voltage it is taking from the motherboard okay so like enough you need to give the connections yeah so coming to that one processor so processor so the computer is working on the processor that is the name is called the microprocessor we are using the microcontroller what application microcontroller or arduino low cost low cost uh, this microprocessor 7000 rupees this is 500 rupees 500 rupees this is a what about this cost 7000 rupees speed is a 500 rupees relatively slow speed 7000 rupees very high speed 3.5 gigahertz <clears throat> what is my processor 
3.60 gigahertz gigahertz speed i3 configuration is i3 next i5 came next i7 is came so your people may be possible to use the i7 uh, if your ram size is if you want to increase the 8 gb ram you can go for that i7 i i7 and further version you will going to use for that your laptop so that already microprocessor so laptop okay as your computer you will going to use about this processor and general application you can use for microcontroller 500 rupees 7000 rupees speed very very fast speed gigahertz it's a kilohertz it's a kilohertz kilohertz 4 kilohertz 8 kilohertz 16 kilohertz this is the only speed this is the only speed yes 4 kilohertz 8 kilohertz 16 kilohertz only speed 16 kilohertz only speed but here is a gigahertz so excel uh, uh, excel parts so many parts low the cost is low energy use it's a energy consumption is low because it's a very smallest one 5 voltage power supply 5 voltage power supply is enough energy consumption what about this one motherboard you will smbs is needed and then uh, motherboard it will go to operate SMBS uh, you need to give the motherboard, motherboard to the processor, so medium level, high level. Then company, so these are the companies there, Intel motherboard, Intel board, Intel processor, AMD processor, ARM processor, so like microcontroller, Arduino controller, Admil controller, Texas um, instrumentation, Mo uh, uh, Motorola, microchips, so these are the productions, so these are the beginnings about the Arduino and microcontroller and microprocessor.